You know, I had a DJ company owner ask me the other day about uh, their employees. In fact, they were um, complaining about the fact that they spend a lot of time, money, effort, energy, um, and give out a lot of loyalty to employees that they teach to DJ that end up just leaving them, quitting, worse yet, becoming a competitor. Um, it's terrible. What am I supposed to do? How do I keep those great people that I find, cultivate, curate, and build? How do I keep those people? Hi, it's Bill. It's Creative License. And uh, thanks again for being a part of the show. Do me a favor, hit the click, click the like, click the subscribe. I need you to click both of those things. We need to raise up the numbers of people that are watching this. And if you notice that over the last few weeks, that's been a big goal of mine, okay, is to get our subscribers up. And for you to be a nice person and reach out to my sponsors like Electro Voice and DJ Event Planner and Promo Only and the Entertainment Experience Seminars, please, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, Disc Jockey News TV who also shows this show on their channel. So uh, so how do you keep people? Well, I, uh, many people that have asked me this question or have had me talk about this, they, they think that my answers are a little dubious because I do not have a multi-op. So let me just say right ahead of time, I don't have a multi-op company, okay? I don't have a bunch of employees. I've got a couple of uh, 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 contractors that I take on that are pretty good DJs and are great at setting up and tear down to work as my assistant. I have uh, worked with them. I have trained them and I pay them really well. Number one, the, the number one thing you should do to be able to keep really good people is to pay them well. And if you're paying them a certain amount of money and you think you're paying them well, then just go by this rule of thumb. You're not. <laughs> okay. So go out there and make, pay them at least a third more. I would say actually double what you're paying them right now because you want them to feel appreciated. Okay. You want to feel, you want them to feel like it's the, their job is to, is to make you and your business successful. Okay. Not just to work for you. Work for you doesn't give them, uh, uh doesn't give them a, a feeling of, of company, of, of, uh, of, uh, a community. Okay. Their loyalty isn't kicking in when they're just getting paid to do their job, okay? So you wanna create uh, not only a, a great workplace where they feel appreciated by being paid more than they would be paid someplace else. You got a good person, trust me, you wanna pay them well. I, uh, my father-in-law had a hotel, uh, it was a 100 room uh, 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 hotel uh, in Burnsville, Minnesota, um, and he had a cleaning lady that was there from the day he opened it until the day that he sold that place. Why? Because he paid her a great sum of money. She worked her tail off. She could have gone anywhere and helped to put together something at this um, uh, this small hotel that didn't charge much for rooms uh, and because she was doing the extra stuff. She was the kind of employee we all begged to have, okay? So not only did he pay her really, really well. In fact, I understand from what I understand, she was making like upwards of $50,000 a year and she was just in charge of laundry and cleaning and she had a staff, okay? Just to keep her when she was thinking about leaving, they just paid her more. But they also knew her. Do you know your employees? Do you know their kids' names? Do you know about their worries, their fears, their goals, the things that they, they, they care about? Have you created a community of knowing and caring for these people? You can't be their friends. I'm sorry, but you can't be a boss and a friend at the same time and expect that they're not going to go, well, my friend would love me to start my own thing because he cares about me. No, you still have to be a boss, but you can be a boss who cares enough about what's more important to them. And you need to know that one of the goals of a really good performer who continues to get better is going to be that he's going to outgrow you. So quit taking it personally when he decides he wants to go. He wants to go? Okay, well, you can test the theory of how badly he wants to go by saying, what is it going to take to keep you? And paying for that. Because we're in a business of talent that if you have to pay extra for this talent, this talent can get paid more. So you're not going to necessarily lose money because you're paying this guy more. You could sign some kind of an entertainment contract. There's all kinds of things you could do. But really... The legal stuff makes less difference 
than caring about your, your employees and the people who work for you like they're family, like you care for them, not like you care, but that you actually do. You still have to be a boss. Don't get me wrong, but you can care for them and care for the things they care about. And you can't do that by just paying them, telling them where they got to go, paying them. You got to get deeper. You got to find out. You got to care enough to find out. When they, when you felt that at jobs, you didn't want to leave, didn't you? Now, this is just a few of the things you can do, but that culture you create and the money that you pay and or finding the thing that's most important to them and making sure they can have it. And it, sometimes it's not money, is it? But if you don't know what it is, then you don't care enough to keep them. At least that's what they're thinking. And that's why they're going to go. What do you think? Okay. Do you care enough to know everything you need to know? Do you care enough to take their suggestions on your company? Wow. Or make changes because they have something to contribute. What? I know. What makes you feel good? What makes you want to stick around? All right. I'd love to hear your comments. Put them down below. Be sure you hit the like and subscribe. I need to get more people on the subscribe list. <laughs> I'll see you next time. This is Bill and Creative License. Bye.